But welcome back friends, Build a Lot of Acres. In today's video, we're gonna wrap up the firewood series with why burn firewood. Stay tuned. So like I said, we're going to be wrapping up the series. I wanted to get all these videos out one after the other so that you had plenty of time before the burning season to watch them, maybe gain some good knowledge, get some tips, and just kind of understand the basics of firewood. And we're going to wrap up the series with today's video, Why Burn Firewood? Let's get into it. So there's a number of reasons to burn firewood, and I'm going to go over a few of them in today's video. That doesn't mean there aren't other reasons that you could think of that I didn't cover, but I'm gonna to try to cover most of the main ones that people probably think of. The number one reason is to save money. Whether you buy your wood split from someone else or you split it yourself, or you have a video on splitting it yourself versus buying it. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's in the playlist for the series. But at the end of the day, you're gonna save money burning wood either way, whether you buy it or do it yourself. It's still gonna be cheaper than buying oil or a lot of other heating options. So I would say the number one reason to burn firewood is probably gonna to be to save money. So I would say the second reason to burning firewood is it's a different heat. I know it's hard to explain, and it might be hard to understand if you've never burned wood, but for those watching that have, they know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a drier heat and it just feels different. It's a radiant heat coming off the stove versus most types of heat with oil or propane or natural gas. It's just not the same type of heat. It feels different, it warms you, it warms your insides, it warms your bones, and there's nothing that beats coming in out of the cold. Maybe you plowed the driveway or snow blowed, or maybe you were outside with your kids building a snowman or a snow fort. Nothing beats that wood heat feeling that you get. So I would say that's the second reason would probably be it's a different type of heat. We got a cocky rooster here. If anyone wants a rooster, by the way, I'm getting kind of sick of this guy. I think he crows. Someone's actually pointed out in videos in the comments before, but I think he probably crows at least, at least 10 times an hour. I know a lot of people that don't have roosters or chickens or ever have lived in a country area probably think they crow just in the morning to wake you up at 5 a.m. and that's the done for the day. That's not the case. The roosters crow all day long, like hundreds of times. Like I said, if it's not 10 times an hour, then he doesn't crow at all. It's probably more than that. It's probably more like 15 or 20. Sometimes he crows for one 10 minute video, he'll crow 10 times. I don't know if he's trying to show off or what the deal is, but. Uh. So what's the third reason? Oh, he's about to crow. what I mean so what would the third reason be so I would say money it's a different kind of heat and the third big reason is you can use it without power now I live in the country I lose power a lot some people lose it at different rates I've lost power a number of different times up to nine days straight when we had the ice storm back in 2011 or 2013 I forgot what year it was but it was about 10 years ago we lost power we had a big ice storm in February, we lost power for nine days straight. And I still had the ability to heat my house. I was actually at my old house. So it was probably more like, yeah, it couldn't have been 2013 then. It had to have been before that. I don't know, maybe it was 2009, I forget. If you guys remember, look it up but and let me know in the comments. But it was before I lived here. So it had to have been prior to 2011. So maybe it was 2009 or 2010, I forget. But there was the big ice storm. We lost power for nine days. And I still had the ability to heat my house and cook food because you can cook on a wood stove. So those are really big advantages over say a pellet stove. I know now a lot of the pellet stoves have battery backups so you can still run it without power, but usually those are only good for so many days. I think nine days would probably be a stretch for a lot of those. So that would be a third reason is even without power, you can still run the wood stove, still have heat, still have a way to cook. You could melt snow, make water if you had to. There's a lot of things you could do and that I've done. I know some people watching might think that's ridiculous or you're living in the stone age, but 
when you're living out in the country in a big country property and there's trees all around and you lose power it's a big deal you got trees knocked over maybe a hurricane came through or a big ice storm it can be like a different world out here it's not like the city and you got to do what you got to do to survive but so i would say a fourth reason would be it's a renewable energy source unlike a lot of the you know propane natural gas oil wood is renewable trees grow you can plant more trees as you harvest trees so it's renewable so it's actually better for the environment in my opinion some people might argue the emissions coming out of the wood stoves are worse than oil or blah 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 i'm gonna have to disagree if you factor in what it takes to make that oil not just your appliance venting out of your chimney factor in what it actually takes to make the oil or the natural gas or those big power plants where they're you know the big refineries and things where they're making these products there's no way that's better for the environment than a little bit of smoke coming out of your chimney cutting trees and burning wood in my opinion it's better for the environment it's a renewable energy source and you know if you care about that kind of stuff the carbon footprint all that kind of stuff i would think wood is a better choice than natural gas oil propane you know those fossil fuels so i guess another reason what was this one two three four number five another reason would be keeps you in good shape especially if you cut your own wood if you cut your own wood from standing trees you're gonna be in pretty good physical condition compared to a lot of people a lot of people just turn the dial and turn up the oil furnace or the propane whatever if you're burning wood you're constantly even if you don't cut trees down you buy your wood split you got to get up stack the wood you got to grab the wood put it in the stove it's a lot more labor intensive and at the end of the day, it's going to keep you in better condition than those other things that I just mentioned. What is that like six or seven times now? I mean, it's just ridiculous. I think it's a good night for some chicken soup. So I think the last reason to burn wood is kind of, <laughs> some people might give us a chuckle, but gives you an excuse to buy toys. I've said this in another video, but I'm, I'm just serious. If you want a tractor, trailer, truck, you know, different implements for the tractor or, you know, things like that. Buy chainsaws. You can really justify all that kind of stuff when you burn wood. How are you going to justify getting that stuff if you burn oil? Probably going to have a hard time selling it to the missus. She's not going to agree with you that you need it. But when you're burning wood and you're saving money, which is true, you're saving the family money. There's no arguing that. It's silly to argue it. You're saving money, but you got to spend a little money to save money. Mrs. Build-A-Lot can attest that I've used that excuse to buy some of my toys that I've showcased here on the channel. If I didn't burn wood, you guys probably wouldn't have seen a lot of those toys in action. So I think that's probably going to be the final thing. And the final reason to burn wood is an excuse to buy toys, which to us men can be really an important reason. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this whole series on burning firewood. I had a lot of fun making it. I am going to get back to some of my other content. I hope I didn't bore you too much with a bunch of firewood videos one after the other. But I wanted to get them all out one after the other so you had plenty of time to watch them before the burning season really kicks off. I know some people are already burning, but before it really gets into heavy winter and we get real cold weather and people are burning a lot, I wanted people to have a chance to watch this series, maybe learn, take a few things away, and hopefully it gave some people some good knowledge and some good understanding of burning wood. Hopefully even people that burn wood maybe took one or two things out of these videos that will help them out in the future so in the next video we should be doing something other than firewood but i hope you guys enjoyed the series please like comment and subscribe if you do enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time